Chapter 198 Desirability of Lying Down on One's Right Side After the Sunnah of Fajr Prayer 1110 Aisha r.a. Anha reported, When the Prophet, peace be upon him, had performed two rakah before the Fajr prayer, he would lie down on his right side. Al-Bukhari 1111 Aisha Razillah Anha reported, When the Prophet, peace be upon him, finished the Isha prayer, he would perform eleven rakah before the Fajr prayer, concluding each two rakah with Taslim, i.e. saying, Assalamu alaikum, and observing the Vidr, odd, at the end. When the Muaddin finished proclaiming Adhan for the Fajr prayer and it was dawn, he would rise and perform two short rakah and then would lie down on his right side till the Muaddin came to inform him about Ikama, Muslim. Commentary This hadith tells us that the Prophet, peace be upon him, was in the habit of lying down on his right side after the two sunnah of Fajr prayer. It also mentions his offering of the Hajjad prayer, which consists of eleven rakah. He would perform this salat in the form of four couplets and one vitr. According to some narrations, he would perform four couplets and supplement them with three rakah of vitr. Both these forms are right. This hadith also proves the validity of one vitr. This hadith also tells us that the time for the tahajjud and vitr prayer is from isha prayer to the daybreak. One can perform tahajjud prayer at any time during this period. But the best time for it is the third part of the night for the reason that after the hajjud one can, after a while, perform fajr prayer in congregation, jama. The taravi, optional night prayer, performed in the month of Ramadan is this the hajjud prayer, which is also termed as qiyamul layl. For the sake of convenience and benefit of congregational prayer, it is offered soon after isha prayer in the month of Ramadan. The right number of rakah in the Taravi prayer is eight, because the Prophet, peace be upon him, never offered more than eight rakah. With three vitr in the month of Ramadan or otherwise, Aisha's statement to this effect quoted in Sahih al-Bukhari also supports this fact. In Hadith literature, the nawafil of the night have been termed as qiyamul layl, for which the word tahajjud has also been used in the Quran and Hadith. The word Taravi does not figure anywhere in Hadith. The word Taravi for Qiyamul Layl became popular after the era of the Prophet peace be upon him and his companions. Thus, that number of Taravi prayer agrees with the Sunnah of the Prophet peace be upon him, which is proved by the actual practice of the Prophet peace be upon him, that is, eight rakah and three vitr only. It is not in any case twenty rakah. Authentic ahadith prove this point abundantly. 1112 Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu reported, The Messenger of Allah peace be upon him said, When any one of you has performed two of sunnah before the Fajr prayer, he should lie down on his right side. Abu Daud and At-Tirmidhi Commentary the preceding ahadith describe the practice of the Prophet, peace be upon him, while the present one tells us about his order that one should lie down on his right side after offering the two sunnah of Fajr prayer. Thus, this practice is proved by his speech as well as action which does not leave any doubt about it being a sunnah and mustahib, desirable.